What's happening, SFL? Welcome to the latest episode of the Twins Group Post. Today's show, we're going to talk about the SFLM Week 8 wrap-up, the SFLM playoff picture, Season 15 rookie draft update, and the Twins Group 2-Minute Drill. So hydrate up and enjoy the show. Our first segment this week is the Week 8 wrap-up. Here we'll report each game and the weekly leaders for each team. So, here we go. Starting off the 2 p.m. game, the San Jose flight at the Boise Mud Dogs. Mud Dogs won 25-21. The flight had 409 total yards, 371 passing yards, 38 rushing yards, one turnover and a time of possession of 2057. The Mud Dogs had 320 total yards, 267 passing yards, 53 rushing yards, no turnovers and a time of possession of 2148. The flight's leaders for the week, Ace Fenich was 36 for 50, 371 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. Laura Horrell had 13 carries on 35 yards with 13 receptions for 32 yards. The Boise Mud Dog, Spencer Gordon was 21 for 31, 267 yards with one interception. Fox Highwood had 28 carries for 53 yards and one touchdown. Next is a 4 p.m. game. The Ottawa Cavalry at the Birmingham Fuel. Fuel won 24-10. Cavalry had 304 total yards, 232 passing yards, 72 rushing yards, one turnover, and 20 minutes for time of possession. The Fuel had 269 total yards, 140 passing yards, 129 rushing yards, no turnovers, and a time of possession of 23-14. Cavalry's leaders, Javier Vasquez was 19 for 33, 232 yards, one touchdown, and five sacks. Stephen McMichael had 18 carries for 74 yards and four receptions for four yards. The Fuel's Ben Stone was 18 for 27, 140 yards, one touchdown, one sack. Micah Dillon had 27 carries for 125 yards, one touchdown, and three receptions for 19 yards. Then we had the 6 p.m. game, the Lincoln Rattlesnakes at the Albuquerque Adams. Adams won 27-20. Rattlesnakes had 312 total yards, 290 passing yards, 22 rushing yards, one turnover, time possession of 24-53. The Adams had 245 total yards, 194 passing yards, 51 rushing yards, one turnover, and a time possession of 18-13. Bryant Dynasty for the Rattlesnakes was 28 for 43, 290 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, and four sacks. Luther Gond had 20 carries for 4 yards, 7 receptions for 40 yards. P.J. Slaughter for the Adams was 12 for 21, 194 yards, 1 touchdown, 1 interception, 1 sack. Connor Weston had 20 carries for 30 yards, 1 touchdown, 5 receptions for 9 yards. And the final game of the inaugural SFLM regular season at 8 p.m. is the Madison Lynx at the Annapolis Navigators. Navigators won 26 to 21. Lynx had 288 total yards, 175 passing yards, 113 rushing yards, two turnovers, and a time of possession of 1732. Navigators had 411 total yards, 232 passing yards, 179 rushing yards, one turnover, time of possession of 25-15. Derek Majors was 19 for 33 on 175 yards. Two touchdowns, one pick, and three sacks. Catherine Harrell had 18 carries for 113 yards, one touchdown, and two receptions for 25 yards. Cam Curtis was 26 for 35, 232 yards, one touchdown, one pick, two sacks. Hugo Reynosa had 24 carries for 168 yards, two touchdowns, and four receptions for 27 yards. And now, after eight weeks, here's the SFLM playoff picture. These games are on Monday, June 15th. The Lynx are the number one seed and play Boise at 6 p.m. Eastern. The Cavalry are the number two seed and play the Navigators at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's this week's playoff picture. And as we come to the end of the inaugural SFLM season and the first champion is crowned, there's a very short turnaround straight into the draft. This segment will talk about the upcoming rookie draft and the current rules for the draft. I'm not going to go over the draft order. There's still some time and free agents to sign, so it'll change. I showed you this information last episode, and I'll go through it pretty quick. If you need to read, just stop the video. 
as we go into Season 15 Rookie Draft. Round 1 starts Sunday, June 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern on 11 Sports and For the Fans Twitch channel. Round 2 is Monday, June 22nd on YouTube. That time is currently TBD. Rounds 1 and 2 will be at each player's primary position that has been played in the minor leagues. Rounds 3 and 4 are on Tuesday, June 23rd on YouTube. That time is also TBD. These rounds are for each player's primary or secondary positions that have been submitted to the league. For the rookies that opted into the supplementary draft, round 5 is on Friday, June 26th on YouTube, and then round 6 and 7 are on Saturday also on YouTube. Round 5 through 7, a player can be drafted at any position. Here are the continued draft rules. Players that were not on SFL teams can be drafted in the supplementary draft. Also listed are rules if draft picks are not used. Here are some draft rules that were updated on June 5th. Signings are locked in on June 14th. And also some rules on trading draft picks between teams. No one for one trade and some info on the value of draft picks. No trades can involve any players and no more trades once a team has 17 players on their roster. There will be no draft trades in rounds 5 through 7. Good luck to all the rookies. It's been a pleasure sharing the field with all of you and I can't wait to see who lands on what teams. My last segment is the Twin Screw 2 Minute Drill. This episode I'll talk about the final league leaders and my picks for the first week of the SFLM playoffs. Here are the leaders by stats after week 8. All of these players have had fantastic minor league seasons or at the top of their game. Hey owners, get them while they're hot. Ace Fennich came out of nowhere with San Jose and grabbed the top QB spot. Fox Highwind led the league with most of the season. Doug Britton also came out of nowhere catching those passes from Ace and San Jose. Tina Begin has been a beast all season on the Adams D-line. Gary Marks of Boise took the top spot for linebackers. Zach Holdorf was a lockdown in San Jose's secondary. Nico Cappuccino was perfect throughout the season. And Wiley, Riley Quintero led all returners with 915 total return yards and a touchdown. Here are my picks for week one of the playoffs. I'm taking Madison over Boise. These teams met in a week six and the Lynx won 27-14. Some quick stats from that week. Spencer Gordon was 15 for 33, 212 yards and one touchdown, while Derek Majors was 34 for 47, 319 yards and also had a touchdown. Fox Highwind had 20 carries for 98 yards, and Catherine Harrell had 87 yards on 26 carries and two touchdowns. Ezekiel Love will have the running duties this week for the Lynx. Mark Martin had seven catches for 131 yards and one touchdown for Boise. DJ Hume had 14 catches for 165 yards and a touchdown. This will definitely be another battle at all positions. I have the Lynx pulling out a close one, 17-14, on their way to a championship. The second game on Monday, I have Annapolis over Ottawa. These teams met back in Week 4 as the Cavalry won 12-10. Some stats from Week 4, Cam Curtis was 29 for 47, 225 yards, one touchdown, and two picks, while Javier Vasquez was 20 for 35, 133 yards. Hugo Reynosa had 24 yards on 12 carries and 5 catches for 41 yards and a touchdown. Scott Johnson will have the running duties this week. Steven McMichaels had 71 yards on 20 carries and 4 catches for 4 yards. Kevin Say will be running for the Cavalry. CJ Arthur had 70 yards on 6 catches for the Navigators and John Valentine had 6 catches for 67 yards for the Cavalry. Ottawa started out strong this season, winning five out of six but dropped their last two games. Annapolis has peaked at the right time, winning their last three to get themselves into the playoffs. I'm taking Annapolis 24-13. That's what I have for this week's episode of the Twin Screw Post. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it somewhat informative and that you'll come back next show prior to the SFLM Championship. Until then, good luck to all the teams in the playoffs and we'll see you on the field.